What is up guys? The Dark One, aka Zorvax here, coming at you with a little bit of Tom Clancy's The Division on PC, playing a little bit of the beta, and I really, really enjoyed this game so far. I'm going to go over just a few things with you, try to keep this video kind of on the short side because, well, there's not a whole lot to say right now. The beta is pretty short, there's only a couple missions to do. Uh, quite a few side missions and encounters, things like that, along with the Dark Zone activities, which is what the PvP area is called. So there's not a whole lot to see right now, but from what I've seen so far, I've really enjoyed it. The missions look like they're going to be a lot of fun. They, so far, have all been very similar, fighting waves of enemies, rescuing hostages, interacting with different things throughout the level... But the way they, they lay out the missions is pretty cool because a lot of times you'll be going through buildings and fire escapes and rooftops and alleyways. It's pretty interesting the way they do it. It keeps it fresh, in, in my opinion. One of the things I do want to touch on, though, is the graphics. <laughs> They've caught a little bit of flack, I know, from people because... The screenshots that they showed aren't quite exactly what people are seeing in-game right now. And to me, honestly, I think the game looks amazing. The effects that I've seen so far of the sunlight coming through the buildings and hitting the steam and the snow drifts on the barricades blowing in the wind that you can all see, the reflections and the ice on the ground the fire when you throw an incendiary grenade it all just looks so good to me so I'm not really sure what people's complaints are there maybe it's just the fact that they doctored the screenshots up to make them look a little bit nicer but honestly where do you not see that uh, look at a, a picture in a magazine of anything cars people food it's all doctored up to look better than it really looks in person so it's just it's just marketing. <laughs> I think the game looks awesome. I have not been disappointed. It runs really smooth. That was one thing that I was worried about because my computer pretty much just met the recommended specs for the game. So I was actually worried that I wouldn't be able to run on Ultra uh, running pretty smooth. But as you can see from this video, I'm playing with everything turned up. Uh, 60 frames or higher per second. I don't actually have my FPS up, but... It, it looks really good, it runs really good, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, I'll put my system specs in the description below, but I am running a GTX 970, which is what the recommended graphics card is. So, being that I can run on Ultra with that, I was, I was pretty darn happy with. But the gameplay is pretty fun, third person shooter. You can go to first person with scopes, and certain scopes allow you to zoom things like that but the combat feels pretty good overall the uh the snap to cover is something that i've always kind of been back and forth on it seems to work pretty well in this game although it's kind of hard sometimes because you're so reliant on it if you do happen to get flanked you die really really quickly <laughs> so that's something that you always have to be mindful of your surroundings and who's who's coming after you and all that good stuff but but overall, the movement feels pretty good. I like that you can scale over things and on the buildings and up fire escapes, all that stuff. It makes the world feel a whole lot bigger. The weapon modification system seems pretty fun. The crafting isn't in the beta yet to really check out the full extensiveness of it, but I like that you can add different optics and different muzzle modifications and extended magazines or quick release magazines or so on and so forth. So you really have a lot of ways to customize your weapons and upgrade them to make them better and all that that good stuff. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good so far. I uh, the the only thing is is that like I said, you can't really do a whole lot in the beta yet. They have the different wings of the base: the medical wing, the tech wing, the security wing. But you can only unlock the very beginning of the medical wing, so you really can't see how that's gonna play out in the game. But they have a lot of room to, to do some pretty cool stuff with it, so I am definitely looking forward 
to seeing what they're going to do with the game overall. I think they've got a really good starting point here from what I can judge just based on the data. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely going to pick it up when it comes out and play it extensively but uh that's pretty much it. i'm gonna try to keep this video pretty short like i said i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you had fun you know listening to everything if you enjoyed it please like subscribe all that that happy crap that everybody always asks for and uh thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great one